<laughs> the problem is I teach computers, but uh, on blackboard or whiteboard. <laughs> let us start with and it may have some of the revision for those who know about it. Let us make a questionnaire and uh, start uh, with SPSS. Actually, when we go for the research process, I think there, there is a research process also mentioned. Research process starts with uh, a problem which you call as the objective, then there is review of literature that results into hypothesis. Uh, uh, internet is available here? Yes, sir. Okay, I will show you some things. How to review of literature hypothesis as it written actually. So, we start with the problem, we go for review of literature, we make a hypothesis. After making hypothesis, we go for RD, research design, including sample design. Research design is simply all questions, answering the questions uh, like we have been talking about the questions so long. After that, we go for uh, data collection. It may be RD stands for research design, SD for the sample design. Data collection. Now, invariably, roughly all the books talk about after data collection, next is uh, data analysis. No. The next is data processing. After data processing, there is a data analysis, and now we have seen that data analysis is not independent, it is heavily depends on your this and this. Data analysis is a culmination of problem, how many variables, how you actually measured them, what was the hypothesis, it results into that. It is not an independent thing, it is just a logical thing. After analysis, next comes data interpretation. Interpretation is what is interpretation actually is a marriage of two, it is a review of literature and plus data analysis. Data interpretation talks about the two review of literature. So, we says our results validate the results of the previous study or nullifies the results etcetera. Then conclusion and suggestion recommendation. Some people say suggestions are separate, recommendations are separate, whatever. I am not going into that, but conclusion suggestions. So, these are the steps. We are at this step data processing. So, data processing means uh, you got some sort of data with you either in the form of uh, downloading from any database or from the survey method or result of any experiment, any of the method. Any other method is there, you can take that also. My understanding is either you descriptive research or the other research. A descriptive research is survey method or database or experimental is conduct an experiment. Please look for if any other method is there. So, now what we do, what includes a data processing? So, data processing includes the following steps. Data entry, you can do it in SPSS Excel. data cleaning, uh, conventional the books what they write it is uh, something else, classification, coding, tabulation and editing. The books talk of these two, but in practical coding is important for data entry and tabulation is the out result, classification and both are this and editing is called as the cleaning and tabulation is end result. So, when we talk about the data cleaning, there are the following things we look for. Data entry is done by classification and coding that we will just have a demo, we will have a questionnaire and we will try to enter the data. Data cleaning involves the following, it involves number one outliers, handling outliers, Example of outlier, one of the example I gave yesterday, Mataji. Anybody searched Mataji on Google? Not? Mataji Ahmedabad. The second is missing frequency. Third is improper code. 
that is a sort of a typing error. The fourth is logical error. And the fifth is category merging. The first is outlier, second is missing frequency, third is improper code, fourth is logical error, fifth is category merging. So, let me tell you each one by one data coding, the data entry is done by coding, and coding means we have talked about the questions are of two types. The questions may be taken as open ended or closed ended. Open ended again of two types when the res result qualitative data or the quantitative data. SPSS does not work on it, not only SPSS, any Excel or any other software, we work on data. Data means it has to be either MCQ, binary, it can be ranking, it can be scale it can be any quantitative like open ended what is your age it is like this, but we need a data. So, it works only with these questions. So, it works all on closed ended question or open ended having the quantitative answer right it works on that it does not work on the qualitative. How do you like daily write in 200 words nothing can be done no statistical tool technique can be applied we can search it. So, what uh, what sort of technique can be applied on it? one technique that is called content analysis. Content analysis means I can just go for control F how many times good word was there, how many times nice experience was there that I can search that sort of content. People of mass communication journalism they use it extensively. So, for rest we will work one by one and I will just give you a glimpse of what exactly these five things are. So, first is outlier a number which is very much away from rest please note outliers are possible only in ratio data. Outliers are not possible is it possible in MCQ outlier is a number very significant away from other. So, there is a possible while entering the code 1 2 3 you wrote 33 that is I am calling as improper code ok outlier is only in the ratio data. So, people of finance economics they must check the outlier first otherwise the entire is wasted. Missing what if person do not reply how to handle that there are various algorithms improper code in case of typing error how to correct the typing error logical error is like this happens only in the questions where you say if yes then in such questions like are you married yes no number of kids somebody said are you married no number of kids too. Now, in Indian scenario generally this will be error, error. though we do have Sushmita Sen married no kids too correct, but in general it will be an error and we will look for it this is logical error like what to how to handle those logical errors and category merging is some of the times some of the category you are not able to find the respondent how to do with that because uh, one thing which is very helpful uh, there is a person Donaldson 1968 he has given a interesting study and that is very relevant to us. It was about the normality and Donaldson proved empirically that if your sample size now cases in both the categories are almost similar then even if the data is not normally distributed t test and ANOVA are very robust. It means we can just do away with one of the assumption of t test or ANOVA if you are if your data is not normally distributed, but your categories are same then t test and ANOVA are very much effective. So, that is where the category merging comes into picture if there is some category only one or two respondent are there you need to merge it with somebody else this will its power will weak. So, let us talk one by one first start with the data entry and then we will go for the data cleaning operations and then we will start with the data analysis. So, let me make a questionnaire a small questionnaire we will reply and we will enter the data. 